Trevor, what game are we playing today? We are playing King of New York. Woo, King of New York. Hey, yeah, it looks like we got some fun monsters out there. Yeah, we've got some new baddies. Do you like King of New York? I do. I really like King of New York. It's a, it's a fun one. It's a good party game. Awesome. Well, why don't you tell us how you play? It would be my pleasure. So, first things first, you got to choose your favorite looking guy. Like, you've got Fishbowl Man, you've got the Sheriff. Whoever you want to be, you choose him, and you take their corresponding card. Okay. The object of the game is to either get to 20 points or to not die. <laughs> not die. King of the Mountain, if you're the last one alive, you win. The basics of the game play pretty much like King of Tokyo. So if you know how to play King of Tokyo, this shouldn't be too hard. Um, it's not too hard in the first place, but it'll give you a basis. Um, so once you pick your character, you'll take your character token piece and put it in one of these four boroughs, excluding Manhattan. So you, I'll place mine in Staten Island. Um, there can never be more than two monsters in the same burrow. Okay. Um, so let's say Fishman goes here, Robot, robot Man goes here, and the Sheriff goes here, and then there's another player. This Chainsaw guy can go in here, but there can't be a third one. So gotcha. there can be up to two in okay. each burrow. Great. So that's how you start, and then you have your dice here, and you roll your dice. There's a few different icons than there are from King of Tokyo. The... Fist and the heart are the same. The fist attacks, the heart heals. And how does the attack attack? The attack attacks everybody inside of Manhattan, if you're outside of Manhattan, and if you're in Manhattan, it attacks everybody outside. So the first person to attack gets to go into Manhattan. Um, and then if they survive a round, you'll see there's dotted lines here. Mm -hmm. If they survive a round, they move up a space. If they start their turn, they get the bonus of wherever they're inside. So if I started my first turn in here, I would get these bonuses and then move up. If I made it another round, I'd get two victory points, one cube, and then move up again. So the more you stay in, the higher bonuses you're going to get. Nice. But you're getting walloped from all sides. Because you can't heal from, you can't heal from, from the in, heart. Yep, you can't heal from the hearts from inside Manhattan. Okay. Um, so fists, if you're inside Manhattan, attack everybody outside. And if you're outside of Manhattan, they attack whoever's inside of Manhattan. Okay. So that's how that works. Then the hearts, if you're outside of Manhattan, they'll heal you with however many hearts you roll. Um, the rest of these, except for the lightning cube, are new. So I'll just explain the lightning cube. Um, the lightning symbol gives you a lightning cube. The energy cubes, which you can use to buy special ability cards. If it says keep on the front of it, it stays in front of you and you always get that power. If it says discard, um, it's a one-time thing. So right when you purchase it, that event happens. So still a lot of the fun is in the cards that are oh, coming yeah. out. And buying, I love buying cards. I love the cards. So once you buy it, it automatically restocks with another card. Okay. Sweet. So that's what your lightning cubes do. Then these are different. So for this one, you've got a star. In King of Tokyo, you have 1, 2, and 3, but in this one, stars equate to victory points. In order to start earning victory points, you have to roll at least 3 stars. Once you've rolled 3 stars, you get this superstar card, which gives you 1 victory point for taking the card, for rolling 3 stars. And then, while this is in front of you, for every additional star you roll, you get an additional victory so point. future turns you're rolling stars, you're getting points. Right. So if I rolled three on my first turn and got this card, I'd get one victory point. Then if it went around without anybody also rolling three and deciding to take the card, when it got back to my turn, if I rolled three again, instead of just getting one, I'd get one for each star that I rolled since I already have this card in front of me. But like you mentioned, other people can steal it. Right. So whenever anybody rolls three and decides to keep three stars, they just take the card. Okay. So that's the stars. The next thing are building destructions. You'll notice that there are building tiles here. Yes. Each one has a number on it. Um, that corresponds to how many of these building icons you roll. If I rolled two destruction icons, I could destroy two one buildings or one two building. That just equates with In the, the borough that you're in. In the borough that you're inside of, correct. So, since I'm in here, 
I would choose to destroy this one. So not only does I do I get to destroy that, but I also get the bonus in the bottom, which is two victory points. Likewise, this would give you two health for destroying that. Okay. When you destroy it, you flip it over and, be, and it becomes... Some army coming after some you. Some army coming after you, and it is a pain in the neck sometimes. So, likewise, the backside of all of these will also have a number. Um, not all of them are airplanes. Some of them are airplanes. There we go. There's a jeep. There's also a tank. They're just different pictures. Um, so this number also equates to these building tiles. Um, these are called units. Okay. The red side. So if I were to roll three buildings, I could destroy that and get two energy cubes for destroying that. And when it's red, it comes off and you can put it next to you for a trophy of things that you've destroyed. Okay. Um, however, there's going to be a lot of red guys sitting in your burrows near the mid and end of the game just because um, you'll be, destroyed, you'll be right? destroying a lot of buildings and buildings are easier to destroy than units because the units are higher numbers. Once there's a bunch of units in your burrow is when things start to get hairy if you're inside there. If you roll, the last thing on the dice, which is a skull, is when the red guys start coming after you, the units. If you roll a single skull, all of the units in your burrow will attack you. So Ooh. if I was in here and I rolled this skull, at the end of my rolls, if I still had a skull, I would take three damage, one for each of the units in my area. Ouch. Yep, that hurts. But if I rolled two skulls, every monster within my burrow would also get attacked. So say Fishbowl Man was in here with me, we would both take three damage. Okay. So they attack all monsters in the same burrow. If I rolled three skulls, heaven forbid, the entire city gets shot on. So every unit within every burrow fires at the monsters in their burrow. So if okay. there was no units here, this guy would be safe. This guy might take one damage. We'd still take three in here. This guy would take one because he has one guy right here. Okay. Whew. So that's what all the things on the dice yep. do. Oh, you get something But if you like. roll three skulls, you get this card, which is the Defender of the City. Um, basically, you just get three victory points while you have this card, and when someone else takes it from you, you lose three victory points. So you just gain three victory points by taking this card. Okay. And as long as it's in front of you, you have those. Nice. Kind of like temporary things. Exactly. Well, one thing uh, I think we just assumed, but you didn't mention, you went over the dice of how many times you get to roll the dice. Right. So just like King of Tokyo, you have three rolls on your dice. So you can take it up once. You say roll. Ooh, I want to keep this fist. I want to keep this fist. I want to keep these lightning bolts but I'm just going to re-roll these. So you roll them again, you say, oh, no, nope, that's not what I wanted. Final roll, oh, okay, so I get this and this, and then that was my third roll, so I can't re-roll it anymore, and these are my final results. Okay, and then you do their actions. Mm -hmm. Nice, whatever order you want. Yep. At the end of our turn, um, one thing that is different from this, since there's burrows and not in King of Tokyo, uh, one thing that's different in King of New York is obviously there's burrows, so you're able to, at the end of your turn, switch from any burrow to another burrow. It doesn't have to be adjacent. Um, you can't go into Manhattan, obviously. You can only get in there from attacking, but you can move. So you're getting away from those units. Yeah, you destroy buildings and abandon your <laughs> friendly monsters Maybe leave somebody to the, else there to get to attacked. The exactly. Nice. All right, well, uh, how do you get into Manhattan? So, there are two ways to get into Manhattan. The first is if uh, Manhattan is empty, which would be like at the start of the game. If there's nobody in Manhattan on uh, your move stage, when you would move into other boroughs, you move into Manhattan. Okay. Um, the other is just like King of Tokyo. If you, you are in Manhattan um, and you get attacked, you, can, you take your damage and then you can either choose to stay or retreat. If you choose to stay, obviously you stay. If you retreat, you can go into any of the other boroughs, and the person who attacked you has to take your place. Okay. Simple. Yep. And you always start in the lower Manhattan, and you move your way up. So if I was up here and got attacked, they don't just start up here. They would start in lower. All right. Whoa. That's a lot. Well, 
to summarize, what do you think? To summarize, I think this is a really fun game. It's an excellent party game. Um, it's fun to trash talk in it, just like King of Tokyo. Um, I like it just as much as King of Tokyo, maybe a little bit more just because it's more involved. There's more things going on, but I like those kind of games. So if you like more simpler games, I'd go with King of Tokyo, but if you like to get a little more in-depth, go with King of New York. Um, but all in all, they're pretty similar, and they're both really fun. So I'd give this a 4.5. All right. Thanks, Trevor.